In this section, we will start module 2 of the textbook, which concentrates on the technical foundation of MIS. Nowadays, organizations rely on their information assets besides human resources to leverage their operations. First, we will focus on the role of MIS in the growth of businesses, their operation and performance, and later, we will cover the methods to safeguard the use of information in businesses. Chapter 5 of the textbook is composed of two sections. Section 5.1 is going to be over the application of MIS infrastructure and Section 5.2 on building sustainable MIS infrastructure. The main objective of this chapter is to provide business students with basic technical information on the MIS infrastructure of the organizations. Section 5.1 MIS Infrastructure The main learning outcomes intended for this section include 1. Explain MIS infrastructure and its three primary types 2. Identify the three primary areas associated with an information MIS infrastructure and 3. Describe the characteristics of an agile MIS infrastructure MIS plays an important role in business strategies, processes, and even operations. The question here is, what is the foundation that benefits businesses? It is, in fact, the MIS infrastructure, which includes the plans for how a firm will build, deploy, use, and share its data, processes, and MIS assets. A solid MIS infrastructure can reduce costs, improve productivity, and optimize business operations. Its main elements include hardware, software, network, client, and server. The three primary areas an enterprise architect focuses on when designing MIC infrastructure include supporting operations, supporting change, and supporting the environment. Supporting operations use information MIS infrastructure which identifies how and when important information is maintained. Supporting chain utilizes agile MIS infrastructure which includes hardware, software, and telecommunication equipment to support the organization's goal. Supporting the environment is done through sustainable MIS infrastructure. Given the critical role of information in today's competitive market, businesses should pay special attention to the protection of their information. Before MIS came into existence, the information would have been taken out of a company in the form of paper and files. With the advancement of technology in hardware and software, a small flash drive can store gigabytes of data. So, information MIS infrastructure supports the day-to-day -day operation of businesses and plans for emergencies such as power outage, floods, and malicious attacks via the internet to protect information as the most valued asset of an organization. It has three main elements, backup and recovery plan, disaster recovery plan, and business continuity plan. Backup is an exact copy of a system's information. Recovery is the ability to get a system up and running in the event of a system crash or failure. Fault tolerance is the ability of a system to respond to failure. For example, a fault tolerant system will continue its operation in spite of flood or power outage. Failover is a Failover is a specific type of fault tolerance that happens when a server crashes. A second exact copy of this server is going to be available as a backup. Failback takes place when the primary machine recovers and takes over the operation from the backup server. Disaster recovery plan is a detailed process for recovering information or an IT system in the event of a catastrophic disaster such as a fire or flood. 
Disaster recovery cost curve charts the cost to the organization of the unavailability of information and technology and to the cost to the organization of recovering from a disaster over time. This picture displays a disaster recovery cost curve and shows that the best recovery plan in terms of cost and time is where the two lines intersect. A disaster recovery plan must consider not just computer equipment but also the building where employees work and also have plans for the worst case scenario. Hot site is a separate and fully equipped facility where the company can move immediately after a disaster and resume business. Cold site is a separate facility that does not have any computer equipment but is a place where employees can move after a disaster. Warm site is a separate facility with computer equipment that requires installation and configuration.